I, I think it's a mistake to assume that everything's hunky dory. And, you know, and when stock markets are up, it's kind of like this little drug we all feel like it's just great. You know, but remember, we've had so much fiscal and monetary stimulation. So I'm a little more on the cautious side that we are facing a lot of things in 20 in 24 or 25. And you, we mentioned Ukraine, the terrorist activity in Israel, the Red Sea, quantitative tightening, which I still question if we understand exactly how that works. I don't think we do. How QE actually worked, what the effect of negative, you know, zero rates was for all this time. Uh, and obviously the politics. And, you know, and then the Ukrainian war is affecting oil, gas, food, migration. So you have all these very powerful forces that are going to be affecting us in 24 and 25. So if I was the government, I would be preparing for what I'm going to do about that, assuming things aren't good. And I just also want to point out, I, I wish the Democrats would think a little more carefully when they talk about MAGA, you know, and you, if you travel this country... You know, and the country's unbelievable. We took our bus trip this year, and Leslie Picker was on Spokane and Boise and Bozeman. People are growing. They're hungry to grow. They're innovating. It's, it's everywhere. It's not just Silicon Valley. So we've got this great hand. But when people say MAGA, they're actually looking at people voting for Trump, and they think they're voting, and they're basically scapegoating them, that you are like him. Uh, and, but I don't think they're voting for Trump because of his family values. Now, if you look, just take a step back, be honest. He was kind of right about NATO. Kind of right about immigration. Mm -hmm. He grew the economy quite well. China, Trade, China ta virus. Tax reform worked. Mm -hmm. He was right about some of China. I don't, th I don't like no, what he did. No, I said China virus. Yeah, I understand. When he, when yeah. he may have been right. He, he, and I don't like how he said things about I Mexico. I don't like. But he wasn't wrong about some of these critical issues. And that's why they're voting for him. And, and I think people should be a little more respectful of our fellow citizens. And when you guys have people up here, you should, have, you should always ask the why. Not like it's a binary thing. You're supporting right. Trump. You're not supporting Trump. Why are you supporting Trump? It's hard to hate Trump? 75 million of your fellow Americans. And it's, I, I agree. It's done and, you know, the it. Democrats have done a pretty good job with the deplorables, not, hugging onto their Bibles and their beer and their guns. I mean, really? Like, can we just stop that stuff and actually grow up and treat other people with respect and listen to them a little bit? I mean, and, and I do think the economy will affect. And I think this, this negative talk about MAGA is going to hurt Biden's election oh, campaign. I, I, I just and, want to ask you yeah. back to the $34 trillion that, that we got, because it, it seemed like it, when rates were going up and we thought the Fed was going to keep going higher for longer, it, it looked like some of that was coming home to roost because the auctions weren't going well. It's like, wow, we, debt service is much more expensive. This is going to hurt. Suddenly the pat answer is, wow, we're already through that. Rates are coming down again. So the $34 trillion suddenly is... is okay again. And, and I don't think it works that way. Yeah, it's, it? I think people are making a mistake. I think it is going to come to bite. You know, that could be in three years or five years or seven years. I think it may very well bite in the markets way before that because the market makers don't have the cap because the regulations don't have the capability to make markets like you used to. So we can easily handle it, but we're restricted by uh, all these rules. And you're absolutely correct. If my numbers are right, in 1980, debt to GDP was 35 percent. We spent 5 percent of the deficit to because of recession, now debt to the GDP is 100 percent. The debt to G the, the deficit is 6 percent, and it's in a boom time. And, of course, it feels pretty good because you spend all that money. It seems to be working. I think governments are starting to feel omnipotent and central banks. I'd be much more cautious about that.